Basically, every single week and every day I come in the gym, I have a certain amount of workouts and a certain amount of sets I'm supposed to be doing. So I can't just like free game in the gym and just do anything I want like I used to. But I'm still going to show you guys a couple workouts, exercises I do that grew my legs and still grow my legs to this day. Right now we're just doing squats. Um, my right hip flexor is killing me. I don't know how today is going to go. Like, I'm going to make sure I'm stretching and warming up even more throughout my session. Oh shit. Throughout my squats and throughout um, each set because I don't want to injure myself at all. Like, I'm so scared. For RPG of 8 today, I think we have a double. So I'm just excited to see what that might be. I might hit 250 for 2. I'm not sure. Like I said, it depends on how I feel going up. So we can go from there. I don't know if I like that. I felt like I felt like I went too wide with that one. I don't know. Damn, I need to get my form together. I feel like some days my form's like really good. Other days it's like ass. Let's change some music. Basically, we are on to another warm-up set, which is 187.4 pounds. If I were trying to grow my legs, I would not go up to a top set. I literally would keep it around this weight, like 185-ish, and basically do like five sets of like eight reps, eight to 10 reps, you know what I mean? That's what you wanna do to build your legs. So because I'm going for strength, I'm going to a top set and I'm gonna do working sets. Now, your, my working sets is bound to build my legs in some type of way, because it's working sets, you know what I mean? I'm squatting at the end of the day. But uh, like I said, if I were you guys and you're trying to grow your legs and you didn't really care about strength, then just do like a weight that's like not super easy but not hard. Maybe there's something you could do eight to ten reps with basically. Oh my god, so we have to get back to squatting. I'm really just trying to run through this session because I want to leave here at two o'clock. It's 12.55. I don't think I'm going to get done at two o'clock. Even if I leave at 2.30, I'll be okay with that. of the gym. <laughs> he gave me this ghost uh, energy drink. It's so good. They're so goaded. I was dying. I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna have to lower the weight.
So we we're done with the squat session. Uh, I think it was really, really good, actually. Okay, I'm lying. It was not good. Like, it wasn't bad. I had worse days. It, it just was fucking heavy. It was heavy as hell today. Like, I don't know. Like, that top set was heavy as hell. But I did it though, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, I made that shit look easy. I figured out the reason why I was so heavy, because I didn't have my pre-workout. But one of the goaded owners of the gym gave me this ghost um, energy drink, which was lit. Like, that shit was good. And that shit was so good. It was like strawberry lemon or something like that. It was so good. But um, we took some of that, and honestly, the weight still felt heavy as hell. So I had to lower the weight a little bit. And I went from going 231 for my working sets to 226, which is not bad. It's not bad still, you know what I mean? I personally think it's just because my cycle's about to come on soon. So every time around like this ovulation phase or whatever, around that this peak, I always get like super weak and fatigued and tired in the gym. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use, I'm gonna make that my excuse because you know today we was not even bench was super weak. Oh my god, like. What I just did the other day, oh yeah, it was not happening today. Like, it was not, I did it for like, like a top set. After that, yeah, my body was like, girl, girl. <laughs> it was not, uh, so I mean, that's, that's cool. That's okay, that's okay. Like I was saying before, I'm saying this earlier. A lot of people be like, uh, squats do not grow your glutes, whatever, whatever. Squats was the only work I was doing to help me grow my glutes. Like I didn't know, in the beginning of my journey, I did not know how to do hip thrusts. I wasn't doing hip thrusts. I wasn't doing nothing else. Shit, I wasn't even really doing lunges and stuff, to be honest with you. I was just doing squats, everything squat. Like I was always some type of squat variation. And then I was doing like cable kickbacks too, to shape, cause cable, cause cable kickbacks basically shape your glutes. You know what I mean? So I was doing all that so I can get like the round type of glutes. So I was really just squats and cable kickbacks, to be honest, to be real with you. Uh, I'll show you guys literally before and after uh, how my glutes looked. Um, I mean, basically that's just it. I mean, squats do grow your glutes. Like whoever told you that's lying or y'all just not doing it right. I think none of y'all really get depth. See, I do them differently now because I power lift. So uh, it was funny because once I start power lifting, my coach was like, yeah, you squat way too deep. So your stance needs to be wider. I squat completely different than how I originally squat. And I will, I will insert a video and everything to show you guys. But the way I originally squat was a little was more narrow and much deeper. So that engages your glutes like crazy. I don't know what y'all be talking about. If you do squats right, yes, your glutes are gonna freaking blow up. So that being said, uh, we're about to do Bulgarians. And then we're gonna do some goblet squats. It's not on program, but we're gonna do some anyway. <laughs> Lastly, we're gonna do goblet squats, okay? Really good for core stability, which, you know, I can, everyone can practice that, you know? You can't perform most of these lifts correctly if you don't have a tight, stable, strong core. So, this is really good for your quads, it's really good for your glutes, it's really good for your core. Uh, I suggest any beginner that is getting into lifting, before you try to hop under that bar, start with these, okay? 
goblet squats, you can control the weight, you can lower the weight, you can increase the weight safely, safely, you know what I mean? But the bar is not always safe. There's so much more technique that you need to squat on a barbell than you need. You can just pick up a dumbbell and start squatting with a dumbbell without killing yourself with the bar. Shit, you could really severely injure yourself for real, for real, if you don't know what you're doing. So, I don't know, we're gonna aim for like 12. This is 50 pounds, fairly light for me. I mean, honestly, I haven't done this in so long, so I don't know how it's just gonna feel, but I'm very exhausted, so let's get to it. How are you guys? <laughs> How are you guys? <laughs> I just got back from the gym. Listen, listen, okay, it's it's a show playing in the background, okay? No one's watching porn or anything like that. <laughs> but I just got back from the gym. I'm stacking with some pretzels, which which is which have like really good salt in it. Really good sodium, especially because I had a really intense workout today and I burned a lot of calories. But uh, I, I rate today's workout overall 7.5 out of 10. For like bench was just not moving like I wanted to move. Squats wasn't either. Um, it wasn't terrible. I had worse days, but like, I don't know. I'm feeling really weak, but I don't want to give you guys too much information on that. But um, basically when you're in a certain point of your cycle, you get really fatigued and really weak and stuff. And I'm at that point right now. So... We're gonna we're gonna use that as an excuse, okay? We're gonna use that. Other than that, the accessories moved really, really well. I'm really proud of myself. I did add an extra little workout today. Um, that wasn't on my program, which is cool. I wanted to show you guys the routine. I wanted to give a nice little leg day for you guys. Um, but yeah, but basically. Basically, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you got to the very end, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.